Hey everybody, so I thought I would do a video of what the man is supposed to do when your girl gets her tubes untied. Or, as a matter of fact, when we were there, there was actually a girl with her mom there. So let's just say, whoever your helper is, here's some things to think about. Number one, we stayed at the Hyatt. The Hyatt was really nice. Um, we loved the hotel. The parking is not that great in Midtown of the little midtown shopping center that they built there so in the morning i actually had to go get the car out of the parking garage and we were we were lucky enough to find a spot right in front of the hotel so that she didn't have to walk so far at least you know to get out in the morning she was already nervous she was anxious and you know one thing she didn't have to do is walk so far to get into the car and when we came back i drove around once to see if a spot would open up and luckily it did right directly in front of the hotel but otherwise you'll have to park in the little turnaround that's right in front of the main door walk her in and then come out and move your car and you only have like 10 minutes which i don't know that anybody would say anything um so just parking is an issue a little bit it's not a major one but it's just something to think about uh also you might want to think about what types of things that she's going to want that will you know kind of be those creature comforts for her um she wasn't hungry at all when we got back she just wanted to lay down and sleep so i just stayed with her for a while made sure that she was resting and then i went and got her med her medicine at the harris teeter uh which harris teeter was great at, they accept her her insurance which is blue cross uh, so it was all good medicine was good it was filled in about 30 minutes the pharmacist there by the way i think her name was sarah she was super super informative and she was she was really good um, she recommended that I get some Colace as well. Colace is a stool softener. When you take a lot of pain medicine, uh, it can just make your tummy feel bad. So uh, they may want some things like that, just you know, so they won't they won't be uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. Um, then another thing, when she finally woke up, she got hungry a little bit later. Uh, there is plenty of places to get food there close by. There's just about anything you can dream of. So she woke up wanting uh, Panera, but honestly, if I'd have had to drive an hour to get her something, I would have. Get them what they want, because she was hurting. Uh, she was really sore, so I, I wanted her to get whatever she wanted and make sure she was taken care of. Um, but I mean, other than just being there while she was hurting, uh, I will say she, she did get comfortable. There was one position that she got comfortable in. She would get on her hands and or her, on her elbows and her knees and put pillows up under her and lay in the bed so like just with her butt up in the air and i gave her a back rub and i think that she i think she went to sleep like that um and it was I, kind of kind of an odd position you wouldn't think it would be comfortable but it just took a lot of pressure off her stomach so uh, i'm glad she was able to get some comfort that way um so anyway what was it honey no, no oh yeah the abdominal binder so we did get her an abdominal binder i don't know about two or three weeks ago and she was wearing that pretty much the whole time which helped a lot i would really recommend y'all getting a getting an abdominal binder if you have this uh, procedure uh, i learned a whole lot more about women's reproductive health than i ever did before um, i do know that it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to get pregnant but i also believe that if god means for us to have a child it'll happen if it doesn't then that's okay because it's all in his time and all in his plan so um you know guys if, if y'all have any questions about things you can do the biggest thing is just give her what she wants not like we don't do it anyway but give her what she wants uh be good to her she's listening so i'm not getting by saying any of this stuff uh so anyway that's it for me it's all of my thoughts my main takeaways and uh best of luck to y'all ladies and just uh, have a good one.